A troubled woman attracts the attention of a lonely hotel attendant to save herself, unaware that the man's past might be more dangerous than what she's trying to escape from. After being released from a mental facility, Manny starts working in a hotel as an attendant. One morning he helps a man in a wheelchair named Popcorn from getting mugged. Grateful, the man shows him a lump of raw gold, claiming to own a mine full of it. He's currently raising capital to get back to it, so Popcorn hints that he can give him something if Manny helps. Later that day, Jack books a room to be with his lady Theta. After they head up, Detective Arnie arrives, making Manny worry that he intends to tell the management about his past. Arnie assures him he won't since he deserves a second chance. Instead, the detective tells him to keep an eye on Jack. After the cop leaves, Jack calls the attendant to fix their toilet. So Manny goes to his room. There, Manny stops when he sees Theta asleep on the bed. Seeing his nervousness, Jack urges him to go closer to his companion, but he pulls away and rushes to fix the toilet. Wanting to taunt him further, Jack starts acting intimately to his lady in front of Manny, so the attendant closes the door to give them privacy. Still, hearing moans triggers Manny's memory when he fought an armed man. The rattled attendant tries to drown out their sound by flushing the toilet, and Jack laughs before opening the door, knowing how he'd made the attendant uncomfortable. With his job done, Manny tries to leave, taking notice of how Theta seems surprised to learn that he was there. Once he's gone, Theta slaps Jack before shutting the door to continue their tryst. Manny hears their activities as he leaves and concludes that Theta is a dangerous woman. He then caresses the scar on his face, reminding himself that he'd been hurt before. The next morning Manny has breakfast at the diner when Theta arrives. The hotel attendant uses the chance to apologize for eavesdropping on their activities, but she forgives him, knowing it was Jack's idea. The two then keep each other company, with the man noting that her name is unusual. He believes that people with uncommon names are often unusual as well, just like Popcorn, who looks plain, but apparently owns a gold mine. Soon, Jack passes by to call Theta so she rushes out. That evening Arnie calls Manny to ask for a report, but the attendant claims that there's nothing happening. The detective gets worried that he's getting distracted, so he warns Manny not to be involved with women, given his history. On another morning Jack confronts Manny about seeing him having breakfast with Theta. The attendant assures him that there's nothing between them, but Jack warns him not to get involved with his girlfriend while he's out of town. When Manny returns to work, Popcorn asks for help. He'll be meeting with a wealthy investor later, but the man isn't convinced that his gold samples came from his mine. He doesn't want to risk exposing the mine's location yet so he can't take him there. Instead, he wants Manny to swear to the investor that he's worked in his mine. That evening Popcorn meets with his investor Carlo at a casino. Manny later approaches the two and awkwardly pretends to be the older man's associate. Despite this, Carlo insists on seeing the mine before shelling out some money. Later, Theta approaches Manny to ask him to check her radiator. He does as he's told, but the woman suddenly asks if Jack warned him about her. Theta assures him that her boyfriend is just jealous of anybody, despite having left town to see his wife. Not wanting to get into her business, Manny fixes her radiator and prepares to leave. However, Theta asks if she could hang out in his office while her room warms up. Unable to deny her, Manny lets Theta watch TV in the office until she passes out. Suddenly Popcorn arrives, victorious that he's closed the deal. Because of this, he offers Manny to be his partner, though Theta is apparently awake and listening in. Later, Manny carries Theta back to her room, but she uses this chance to kiss him. He refuses her advances and lets the woman sleep it off. The next day, Popcorn explains to Manny the layout of his mind. As he takes out some documents, the attendant eyes a gun in his drawer curiously. Popcorn then offers Manny half of his shares in exchange for doing all the legwork for him. Tempted, the attendant reads up on the mining business during lunch until Arnie approaches him. Manny reports that Jack went out of town to see his wife. However, Arnie notes that the man isn't married, making him suspicious. The detective then tells Manny to notify him as soon as Jack returns. Eventually the man returns and Manny dials Arnie's number. However, Popcorn distracts him as Carlo is on his way and he can't see Manny working as a hotel attendant. Just in time, Carlo approaches the building, so the older man sends the attendant to hide in his office. Manny does as he's told, then goes up to Popcorn's room while the investor is there to pretend that he's also visiting his associate. Fortunately, Carlo's consultant has assured him that investing in the mine is worth it, 
so he even wants to buy Manny's supposed shares for $75,000. Startled by this, Manny claims he'll think about it and excuses himself to leave. Hurriedly, he returns to his desk, only to find that Arnie's there, pissed that Manny didn't call him when Jack arrived. The attendant defends that he had to deal with something. Suddenly they spot Jack and his friends heading down the stairs, so Manny retreats to the office, while the detective pretends to be a customer to avoid attention. The detective then leaves just in time for Carlo to head down. Before the attendant can even sit down to rest, Theta storms in, telling him that she had to lie that she fixed the radiator on her own so Jack wouldn't suspect them. Right after Theta leaves, Jack confronts Manny, accusing him of attempting to steal his lady as he's not convinced that she can fix the radiator by herself. He threatens the man and walks off. With so much happening around him, Manny still checks in on Popcorn, who's mad that he turned down Carlo's money. His investor wants control over the mining, so he was planning to buy off Manny's share and 10% of Popcorn's. However, Manny thinks they shouldn't take this offer, if there's real gold in the mine. He then asks his companion to take him there, but Popcorn dissuades him since the place is currently under snow. With that, Manny decides to visit it another time. The following morning, Theta joins him for breakfast, though the man notices her bandaged earlobe. The woman claims it was an accident, yet Manny advises her not to let Jack harm her. She assures him that Jack helps her. Her mother owned a nightclub where Theta used to work, but when her stepfather joined them he mistreated her. Soon, their club was closed down since her stepfather used their business as a front for laundering. He went to jail, and her mother left the country to escape. This left Theta with no one so Jack, who was a regular customer at the club, stepped up to help her. She insists that the man is her savior, even if he gets a bit rough sometimes. Suddenly Jack arrives and accuses the two of seeing each other behind his back. He throws a fit and threatens Manny. Cornered, the hotel attendant grabs a knife, stabs the man's hand, then escorts him out of the diner. Jack threatens to get him arrested, but Manny responds that they'll go together since he also harmed Theta. He even points to a police officer across the street. Defeated, Jack pulls away from the attendant and walks off. Manny then returns to Theta, who's scared of going back to Jack after what happened. The attendant offers to let her stay with him, and the woman has no choice but to accept. That night, Arnie calls Manny, asking for his help to get into Jack's room. Before the attendant can go, Popcorn barges in, accusing the attendant of stealing his map and samples. Manny insists that he didn't do it, and instead accuses Carlo. With that, he wheels Popcorn away, instructing him to meet with his investor while he takes care of something. Finally, Manny lets Arnie search Jack's room for contraband. He believes that Jack went out of town for a transaction, but it failed so the dealer had to stash the product elsewhere. As the detective searches, the attendant notices an envelope under the mattress and discreetly takes it. Arnie then checks a coat pocket only to get nicked by a syringe. This prompts him to leave to have the wound looked at. Just as the detective exits, Jack returns and questions Manny about where Theta is. He threatens to kill him but gets interrupted when he receives a message. With that, he leaves. Manny then joins Arnie outside, who's worried about what he overheard from Jack. He warns the attendant from getting involved with Jack's lover, but Manny returns the threat, pointing out that he just searched a private property without a warrant. He then decides that they shouldn't be communicating any further. Worried about losing his only insider, Arnie reminds him what happens when he starts a relationship with a lady. Coldly, Manny stresses that he's not involved with Theta, so Arnie drops the issue and leaves. That night, Manny goes to his motel apartment where Theta has been hiding. He confronts her about stealing the map and the gold samples, but Theta denies this and claims that she mentioned the mine to Jack, so he must have done it. If this is true, Manny warns that Jack will be pissed. He then takes out the map from his shirt, having stolen it from under their mattress earlier. With it gone, Jack will likely think that Theta ran off with it. Frightened, Theta cries in Manny's arms. The gesture surprises him, more so when the woman kisses him, and urges him to get intimate with her. Finally, the two spend an intimate evening together. Their romantic moment ends when Arnie barges in. Seeing Theta on his bed, the detective gets worried and asks if she went there of her own free will. The woman says yes, so he orders her to join them in the living room. When they gather, Arnie questions Theta if she knows about Jack's illicit business. She says yes but stresses that she's not involved with it, nor does she use his products. However, Arnie also warns her about Manny. 
Apparently Manny was previously admitted into the asylum after he killed a woman and her lover in a jealous rage. He was deemed mentally unstable at the time of the crime. Hence he went to the asylum instead of prison. Arnie even gives Theta the newspaper article about his arrest to prove this story. With the woman heartbroken, the detective tells her that he'll leave her out of Jack's case if she helps get him arrested. He orders her to return to Jack, and the moment the man receives a delivery, she must call Manny. Once she does, Manny will give him a signal for Arnie to arrest Jack. Afterward, Arnie asserts that Theta should get as far away as possible from Manny. Manny tries to argue, but Arnie reminds him that he just stabbed Jack, which is enough to get him sent back to the asylum. Soon enough the two drive Theta to the hotel to get back together with Jack. Moments later they see Popcorn heading to the bar nearby. With this, Manny claims to be nervous so Arnie allows him to get a drink from the bar. Manny uses this chance to talk to Popcorn, revealing that Jack stole the map after finding out about the mine from Theta. However, Manny also lies, claiming that Theta warned him that Jack believes Popcorn has more gold stashed, so he advises the old man to call the cops on him. Popcorn refuses since he doesn't want anyone else to know about his mine. Soon Arnie sees Popcorn and Manny return, with the latter taking over the front desk. Just then he spots Jack shutting the curtains, so he calls Manny and warns him that he can't see into the room. Manny then offers to pretend to change the light bulbs in the hallway to listen in. But instead, he uses the chance to go into Popcorn's room. He tells the man that they should confront Jack now, and if things get out of hand he advises Popcorn to use his gun to scare him. The old man is hesitant about this, but Manny assures him that his gun isn't loaded, so there shouldn't be any problems. With that, the two go into Jack's room, but the man denies knowing about the map. He then starts throwing insults at everyone in the room, prompting Popcorn to brandish his weapon. Jack backs off, so Manny goes to his bed and pretends to take the map from under the mattress. However, Jack pushes Popcorn off his wheelchair and steals the gun. Wanting to save herself, Theta tempts Jack into taking the gold mine using the map. However, when he lets his guard down, the woman smashes a bottle over his head. Manny uses the chance to steal the gun back but Jack knocks him down. Theta goes to rescue him, only to get thrown off. Jack then takes out a blade to use on the woman, and Manny hurriedly stops him. The two get into a struggle, which ends with Manny throwing Jack, causing the man to hit his head on the radiator. With Manny now holding the gun, he asks his other companions if there's anything else he should know. Given Jack's surprise about the mine, it's clear that Theta stole the map, but the attendant assures her that he understands why she did it. Popcorn also promises the man that he'll give him gold. With this, Manny promises to take care of things. He then retreats to the bathroom, but before the others can relax, Arnie storms in, having heard the commotion. As he checks on Jack however, Manny knocks him out. When he wakes up Arnie finds himself handcuffed next to Jack's body. He warns Manny that he has undercover cops on the street, but Manny doubts this since they haven't stormed in yet. The man then stuffs a handkerchief into the detective's mouth, revealing that he'd known that Arnie was also using such products that Jack sells. He believes that he investigated Jack not to arrest him, but to steal his stash for use and profit, then use Manny as a scapegoat if things go wrong. Instead, Manny prepares a dose for him so he can be the scapegoat, the dose allows Manny to kill Arnie while making it look like he did it to himself. After this, Manny cleans up the mess. Once he's done, he reunites with his new accomplices in Popcorn's room. But the old man decides to leave, surrendering his gold mine to the two, as long as he can leave safely. Manny stresses that they need each other since they have a secret to keep. He even assures them that he's made sure that they can get away with the incident scot-free. However, Carlo suddenly arrives, and to Manny's surprise, he knows Theta from when she worked at her mother's club. The investor wants to up his offer to $100,000 in cash to buy out Manny's shares. With this, Manny excuses himself to the bedroom, claiming that he needs to discuss this with Theta since she's now his wife. In the room, he kisses the woman while asking what she knows about Carlo. She confirms that the man is loaded but can't be trusted. With this in mind, Manny negotiates with Carlo asserting that he'll only sell his share for $300,000. Before Carlo can refuse, he takes the envelope with the $100,000, stressing that this will be his deposit. With that, Carlo agrees to give him the rest once he sees the mine. He insists on going to it this weekend, and his new partners agree. After all this is done, Manny takes Theta back to his motel, where she finally asks about Louise. 
With a heavy heart, he shares that Louise was his girlfriend, who cheated on him with Frank. He insists that they cornered him, and Frank held a gun to his face, so he fought back. Hearing this, Theta begs him not to hurt anyone else, and he promises. Soon they meet up with Carlo, unaware that the man is packing a gun. On their way to the mine, Theta confesses to Manny that she's afraid of him. The man says he knows, but he believes they both deserve a second chance. Soon, they arrive at the mine, and set up to head inside. During this, Carlo notices photos from the trailer parked in front, so Popcorn shares that the man there was his partner who abandoned him before he discovered that the mine was full of gold. The men soon head inside with Theta refusing to join due to claustrophobia. Inside Popcorn tours them around the tunnels, but the lights suddenly go off. The old man volunteers to check the generator and even invites Manny to join him, but the latter opts to keep an eye on Carlo as he explores the place. Soon Carlo finds a trail of gold and gets excited, unaware that Popcorn has locked the gates. He reconvenes with Theta, who secures the briefcase with the remaining $200,000 from Carlo's payment. Meanwhile, Manny discovers a dead body under some rubble. Based on his clothes, Carlo realizes that it's Popcorn's previous partner. Panicked, he brandishes his gun and questions Manny, who insists that he didn't know about the body. He then knocks the gun off the man's hand to hide and take out his own weapon. As the two have a shootout inside, Popcorn rigs a bomb to bury them inside the tunnels. Manny manages to run to the locked gate, but seeing that he's trapped, he yells for Theta to run, thinking she's in danger. Hearing him makes Theta realize that the man truly cares for her, so she yells out to him, only for Popcorn to trigger the bomb. As Theta cries, Manny dodges debris, which has already killed Carlo. Another explosion throws him off, but Manny lands on a pile of bones seemingly from knights. He reaches for a gold crucifix among the rubble, only for another explosion to topple a wood beam over him. Six months later, a businessman named Roy meets a woman to discuss her father's gold mine. Popcorn soon joins them, revealing that his supposed daughter is Theta. The two haggle to get him to invest in their mine, but their negotiation is halted when Manny arrives. The two hide their surprise that he's still alive, so Manny subtly thanks Popcorn since he found bags of gold doubloons in his mine, left by the Spanish conquistadors. With a smile he assures Roy that he can trust in their business endeavors before leaving. Theta tearfully watches the man leave, and soon she joins his bed again, apologizing for using him before. Meanwhile Popcorn continues scamming Roy, as he plots to do the same trick he'd done to Carlo. Despite this, Theta and Manny rekindle their romance, though it comes with a price more deadly than a rigged gold mine. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.